Dr. Michelle, uh, you remember the check that was... It's Michelle. M- whatever. Michelle. I call Michelle. her Dr. Michelle. Uh, we'll hear her name pronounced like three times. I don't remember how her name's pronounced, but... I don't she, either, actually. <laughs> she was the lady that uh, was with Garrus that when Garrus fired the really crazy shot and almost like hit her in the face on oh. that bandit. Yeah, okay. So that's inside the, the med clinic and the uh, wards. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. So she just becomes a store in the Citadel for medical supplies? I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. This is after you leave and come back. You can and you will, or your story won't stay secret for long. Now Don't what? disappoint me, Doctor. Oh, Commander Shepard. I didn't see you come in. Who is that on the vid? What do they want? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. Just tell me what's going on. Dr. Mikhail is starting to seem really shady. Free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges. They just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license. They'll shut my clinic down. Maybe they Maybe should. I can get you out of this. Tell Did me you hear what want. she was doing? I, have to I didn't catch of all of it. She's giving. She was giving um, free medical today. supplies to clinics. Give me your wards, contact's name. Basically, how would she lose her license orders. because of that? Because uh, she's effectively they stealing them. My past? They won't bother you again. From other sources. I guarantee it. Like the big cities where there's plenty of I good health care. Oh. Maybe it's better if I don't know anymore. I was told to speak with a merchant named Morlan down in the markets. I really appreciate this, Commander. Thank you. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. So in her attempts to good do luck, good, Commander. she's run afoul of a lot of that. irreputable people. Yeah, because she's okay. had to move product hmm. behind the behind the scenes, basically. Okay. It's for a good cause. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies. I like how you I lean on the counter there, and you're just like, "Change of plans." All right, listen, buddy. Change. This is not going to be like any Doctor, other transaction you're going to have today. This is not right, human. Shut up. Boy. It's really funny because I every time you shop at this, this particular store, what she the does hell's that. Going on here? <laughs> Who are you? Leave I don't like doing business with Solarians. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. Our secret stays buried, or I bury you. It's just medical supplies! Hey, Jeez! hold on. I'm just the middleman here. Oh. <laughs> this is way more than I bargained for. He's just like, screw this. Wow, a Krogan backing away from a Thank fight? Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with a doctor. Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. Commander, how did things go? He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. I can't pay you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. The thug said he worked for a man named Baines. Sound familiar? Baines? I wonder if he means Armiston Baines. We worked together a long time ago. What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was contracting him for some research in the Traverse. Captain Anderson might know him. We'll see what the captain can tell I us. keep forgetting Caden's even with us. <laughs> and then he says but one line, it's like, oh, right, Caden's with us. <laughs> I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. Yeah, he's kind of our stand-in biotic for now, until mm -hmm. we get a better one. I had to pick between him and, um... 
Rex on that front, and I decided to go with Caden. Mm. I've got plenty of firepower as Commander is. Shepard, could you spare a moment of your time? This guy. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's a sad quest. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Mm. The 212? Isn't that Ashley's unit? She might want to meet Mr. Bhatia. I completely I forgot to bring Ashley with me on this, and at this point I was just but the like... the military has refused my request. <sighs> Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. What would even be the reason for this? My I can't even think. You're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist wow, you? Wow, that's a punchable face. Yes. A man that's named like, Samesh Bhatia you ever see a face and you just look at it, and even though you don't have any ill will uh, against the guy, Mr. you're just like, I just want to punch that a face. Man in an understanding that's just an asking for a position. punch in the face. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Narali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Mm -hmm. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. So they think... You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. You'd still need permission from the next of kin for that, don't Service you? Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I just Samesh think... should hear this. I would, I would pick Samesh should hear this. I think that's what I went with. No, I, I actually was like, investigate. I need to know this more about this. Study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. What? You gotta have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage. Oh, Very don't worry. There's going to be more bodies piling up soon. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many <laughs> bodies as we can. To we get just started the game. <laughs> when will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell me. <laughs> Why'd you do it this way? Perhaps he will understand. Jeez. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Hello. You're gonna piss him off either Has way. Any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? <sighs> it's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity, and this is how they repay her. Mr. Bacha, your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. She did it willingly? What? I don't... I did not know what? that first one for sure. Nothing indicated yeah, that. nothing. If the military had asked your wife to submit to tests to save human lives, what would she have said? It doesn't matter. She's dead. I just want her to come home. I miss her so much. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. That's a hard one. That's... it's just sad either way. Yeah, I think that's the best solution. The, the military with. definitely didn't handle that situation properly. I agree with the, I agree with their um, decision to want to test the body because that's a big deal, and you want to have people, um, you you want if people have already died to these new weapons, and there's a way to use the research to better defend future lives against these weapons. Absolutely, you know talk to the next of kin and say, listen, this is how this is going to work. And, you know, your, your, your uh, wife has a, another chance to save lives. She's given her life, and now maybe other people can be spared 
death if we run these tests on her. Um, don't just cover it up and be like, no, we're just not going to give you the body. <laughs> yeah, because that's, really, just, that's just being a dick. It's really janky. All right, anyway. Um, <clears throat> this is back in the room where we had the boss fight with Fist. Okay. Um, I was kind of... You're pressed for time, so you don't really think about looking around when you're doing this. So if you go back later, or you can just do it at the time if you're thinking about it, um, when he dies, he drops an optical storage disk. So in order to start this next quest, you just have to pick that up from there. And then um, you're given a spot on the Citadel to go to to basically deliver it, which is this lady. Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard! I'm Emily Wong. I'm a journalist investigating corruption on the Citadel. You recently took down a man named Fist, reportedly a member of some sort of organized crime ring. Did you find any evidence in his office? Is there anything you can share with me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <laughs> You've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. That's just all his porn. <laughs> Basically. Okay, here's who gives a flux. Um, flux is the other casino slash bar place that's in the Citadel. And uh, it's a little bit more high class compared to Kor's Den. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she All for of she the nightclubs on the Citadel play the same problem. kind of I'm interested to hear like, what you have to say. really simple well, techno okay. on a five-second loop. Every day. single bar you go to on the Citadel. It's like the Asari no, top ten. It must People suck to go out for a night in the town on the Citadel. <laughs> it's like... Which bar do you go to? I don't like that one. Their five second music isn't very good. It sort of just drills into your head. <laughs> mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it. For the C Genesis. stands for secret. Maybe I could help her understand secret just how dangerous Cora's damage. Wait a minute, secret begins with an S. Wait. Yes. That's the Just joke. Don't tell oh. her I, sent you. I got it. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> okay, so basically we met this girl in Flux who's like, my sister's working as an informant at um, Cora's Den, and that's not good because that's dangerous, so can you do something about that to make her not do that? Mm. And I'm initially like, it's her life. So why are you getting all crazy? And then I just kind of went, oh, okay, well, I guess we'll just do that then and show her how dangerous the place is. Okay. So this is Shepard going to Cora's Den. So to... you're going to, like, do a scared straight routine with her, yeah, basically. Yeah, sort of. I think that's what's going on anyway. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. They look exactly alike. I talk to you about your work with CSAC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. I, like, totally don't this have, like, time for this. Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. She puts on a brave face. <laughs> As... I, that's not brave. That's just being a bitch. <laughs> I thought seats like were the good guys. They are. Push off. I never did kind nothing of. to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. <laughs> I, I I just found it really funny that um, the whole she puts on a brave face came from the one person in the party that doesn't have one. She's <laughs> 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 kinda like, uh well, okay, Sally. And then I was like, oh, oh, right, I gotta teleport. Well, I gotta go to the teleporter. It is interesting. You can't see Tally's facial expressions, but she really does always seem to wear her emotions on her sleeve. She is the most emotional party member, hands down. Which is really, it's a testament to the writing and the acting, because you don't get to see faces. 
Also, and yeah, most of the time, Mass Effect faces aren't very expressive anyway, but still. Yeah, also, she'd be boring as hell if she wasn't emotional. Because... Oh, seriously, yeah. <laughs> she'd be like a robot, basically. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Maybe that's how they overcompensate for the Excuse fact that, me? you know, they can't... You could have blown Jenna's cover. This was the guy that bumped into you on the way out of Chorus Den. I get oh, wow, he got there fast. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Oh, she's undercover in Chorus Den for CSEC. Job isn't easy, and it's usually got it, got it. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, Detective. It's part of the job. Now, are you going to help me or not? Come on, Chellik. Do you really need a little human girl to help you solve your case? Okay. <laughs> By the balls. Right. She's not really cut out for this anyway. Cut her loose, even get her out of Kor's den. I didn't even have a paragon attached. option on that one. I was just but like, oh, well, okay, I'll renegade it. Yeah. Solved. I could still use your help. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Jax, Fist, all the bad guys in this universe like seem to be like made for it. They've it's got like, like their really kids short like names. When you when you have a kid, they're like, we don't think he's gonna be a very good apple, so we're just gonna name him Jax, and he's gonna lead a life of crime later. <laughs> name my son Dick. <laughs> <laughs> That will be fine. Sure, why not? Fist. Let's name our son Fist. Although that's probably a code name. Yeah. This is me, I think, checking something. Oh yeah, I didn't want to accidentally overwrite uh, my other file when I was going through all of this. I was like, shit, ah. that would have been awful. Oh, you're just, not going to stop for an autograph, Shepard? Ignore that guy. Just ignore that guy. <laughs> That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Maybe. Show her the goods. That looks right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. I'll just take the weapons. The hell are you playing at? Just kidding. Here's your money, Jax. <laughs> <laughs> Sense of humor, huh? gonna get you killed one of these days army don't pull a gun on a krogan we're done here i was really curious about the other option so i actually uh loaded the save that i just made <laughs> and um and redid this cutscene because i didn't remember what the uh, reaction was if you uh said you're you're under arrest like you tried to take them in but um this is a really interesting one if you don't uh if you deviate from the plan you fuck oh, this up that's cool royally. Up, you got my payment? Do you have the mods? Sure, the goods. That looks right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. It's not actually I'm showing us. It's a sting. Bastard set us up. The hell are you playing at? Just kidding. Here's your money, Jax. <laughs> <laughs> humor, huh? It's gonna get you killed one of these days, Army. Come on, boys. We're done here. Okay, that seems a little weird, doesn't it, to have that option? There's a reason they put that in. Okay. Um, if you arrest them or just try to steal their shit, Seasick will find out and they'll hate you. Uh-huh. Like absolutely hate you. So the only real solution is to just do exactly what you're told to do. Otherwise, you fail the assignment, basically. Oh, okay. And that detective guy does not like you anymore. Where and I did some... Why don't you go to that guy? What guy? The... Oh, it's you! It's you! Can I get your autograph? I'm saving him oh, okay. for a montage later when we've encountered him all three times. So okay. you can have the whole story at once. There's two side quests that are in this part of the Citadel. 
um, when you first arrive that are resolved later. And I thought instead of just having them bit by bit, I would just hold on to the footage and combine it all together and just show you all at once so you're not like, okay, what did we do last time with that guy? Yeah. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Look on his face. Like <laughs> just kidding. I'll take you in for a rest. Excellent. Just everything I need. am the police. All right. I am the law. <laughs> Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. You've earned some payment for your work. I appreciate your help. It shows a lot of integrity. You didn't need to do anything after I let Jenna go. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. He has lovely eyes. He does. He's a pretty, pretty Turian. I like him. Those are like the greenest green eyes. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, this is the kind of stuff I would normally cut out, but I do this with between cutscenes. I just kind of run around and randomly shoot shit. It, no, no, this it, is why they took away the option to pull your guns out on the Citadel in later games. <laughs> yeah, because you could totally do it in this one. Just pull out a sniper rifle. <laughs> it hit no one bats an eyelash. They're all just like, well, that's normal. It's a crazy thing to come back on. Are these the keeper guys? No. They were just working for uh Dorax. That was it? Seems the owner didn't like the way you played their games. <laughs> Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He assumed I was cheating. He you got were cheating out because though, he was you? cheating. I was just tipping the scales in my favor. Only as an experiment. Still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. <laughs> But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. So that is yeah. cheating. Isn't that illegal? <laughs> it's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. So naturally, he's the guy yeah. that founded Napster. As yeah. As I could let you try it. So naturally, Shepard wants to help out, right? When you've recorded enough wins, Shepard helps people. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That data won't collect itself. <laughs> Time to go collect some gambling data. Okay, so if you do this mission, does it discriminate hey, uh, Jenny, between Paragon and Renegade? Work. Do you it's get Renegade hard points hard for doing this mission? Uh, just watch. Yeah, everyone seems uh. real happy to have her back. And yet, you seem less than pleased. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. <laughs> I haven't had a tips yeah, before. so you turn that quest in, and basically she's like, yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> You're just like, what? I forgot how much of an annoying brat she is. I wish the chorus dead people killed her. All right, so this is the, the guy that owns Flux. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. <coughs> what can I do for you? I've got something you might be interested in. Let me see that. You got that from Shells, didn't you? I saw him using it earlier. Tossed him out on his ass for it, too. Uh, thanks oh, for you can just go right to the establishment. Yeah. Cheaters shouldn't prosper. <laughs> I agree with you on that. Thanks again. Take a few shots at the Quasar on the house. So I heard about this card game Flux. Did you invent that? Your time here at Flux. Okay, now um, this is actually Quasar. I just wanted to show off exactly how that works. Basically, it's like blackjack, except you try to get as close to twenty as possible without going over. Oh yeah, I, I actually played this um, in ME3. Yeah, so it's like I'll just show it off to show it's actually a mini game. Mm -hmm. I think high. It's nice to have little games like this in the series yeah it's actually not as risky as i thought it was it's it's pretty easy to drum up a profit on the high stakes machines hmm. the low ones are just kind of like for playing for fun i think uh i'm i've been told that if you ever gamble at a casino and really really want to try to make money your best bet is at the blackjack table it's the fairest of all the games that a normal casino would have yeah and that's why people uh, get really skeeved out by card counters and stuff like that. Oh, absolutely. 
if you had like basically you know the device this um solarian was working on is a glorified card counter somebody rigged this machine to funnel credits through the system let me trace the signal Caden, don't ruin the fun. Yeah. Uh, just Shepard just did in spades, so I guess yeah, not a problem. But Caden did point out something we'll be coming to here in a bit um, about a suspicious little machine, mm -hmm. and we're gonna follow the signal through the Citadel to see where it's leading to. Oh, it's a Citadel-wide plot. So, did you record five wins of the device yet? About that. I recorded your name on a permanent record. Actually, I gave your device to Doran. But that was years of work. What am I going to do now? Get a job. <laughs> oh, wow. This is absolutely the worst day of my life. Caden, Caden won points with me for that. That was amazing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All my Warcraft credits. Was bounce the signal off a hidden relay. I don't think credits exist in Warcraft, but I didn't know enough about MMOs to make a good joke. I can tell, the receiver for the new signal is somewhere on the Presidium. So you see how far we've gotten now, that we're just bouncing this thing and investigating where it's going. Mm-hmm. This must be the signal's endpoint. Let's see if we can find out where those stolen credits are being funneled. Probability of detection, 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Oh! Or not. Detonation sequence initializing. <laughs> You're just standing there! It's within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. Whoa. Crap. I thought we were tracing credits, not hunting an AI. You could simply walk away. However, given organic prejudice against AIs, I would be naive to trust you to leave peacefully. Hence my alignment of core systems to enable a self-destruct sequence. Are you going to have to outsmart an AI? The, area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. We don't have to fight. <laughs> I'm just like enough oh, talk. Well, you're just self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. What, is this some stupid, like, chess minigame or something? Basically. Oh, it's just one of these. Oh, it's different than the other one. Yeah, you just have to guess the code before that little bar in the bottom right corner times out. And so, logically, I was like, this guy's just stalling for time, so I'm going to try to get this done as fast as possible. So you're just trial and erroring the code? Yeah. You just got to get lucky. <laughs> About halfway done. There we go. Nice. Yep. And that's all the Citadel side quests. For now. For now. 